Hey guys, DJ here. This is a different type of video than I normally do on my main channel, but now on my old channel. Today we're going to talk about simple palsy, which is my disability. Now I do have a co-host here. And I will let him introduce himself. Overall, this is Devil Dog here. I have the Devil Dog channel, and I do co-host a cartoon review with Wild Tune and Insane Dog. I do want to thank all y'all for joining us. And this video is going to be an informative video about cerebral palsy, like DJ said. Things you may or may not know and how it affects people. And in particular, my great friend right there, DJ, who I always refer to as my bratty little brother. Uh. <laughs> and do you want to go ahead and you want you want to go ahead and start it, DJ? Yeah, let's start with a full question. And All right. I'm going to ask DJ a bunch of questions and he's going to answer them. Now, these are going to be questions that I don't particularly know about CP. And whenever you hear me refer to CP, I'm, I'm referring to cerebral palsy. And it's just a shorter way of saying it. Um, and so DJ will answer this. Now, we're going to start with the general facts about CP. And then we're going to do an, another video later on. And it, it's going to be more centered around DJ and how CP affects him or he handles it or things like that. It's about his personal life in particular. So you'll get to know DJ a little bit better. Uh, okay, the first question I have for you, DJ, is what is cerebral palsy? Okay, CP is a group of disorders that affects impulses and ability to move and maintain balance and possible. Several means have to do with the brain, and policy means weakness or problems with use of the muscles. That's, that's a great definition and one that uh, everybody should be able to understand. Uh, the second question is, how many types of cerebral palsy are there, and what type do you have in particular? There, there are four types of CP. I have spastic cerebral palsy. Okay, uh, can you tell us a little bit more? And this ain't, uh, well, let me just stick to the questions that I have, and it mm -hmm. may cover it. If not, we'll go back to that uh, later. Uh, is cerebral palsy uh, hereditary, or can it develop later, or is it at birth? It depends on the conditions of the ball. It's not a little it can't be passed down from positive to positive parenting child, you know, for me. 
Um, how old were you when you were diagnosed as having CP? Three weeks from what I have been told. Okay. Um, and how long do uh, people with CP normally live? We live a full life. Is there any treatment or cure for CP? No, it's treatment to help with the difficulties, but there is no cure for CP. Okay, so once you have it, you know, it's it's there for your life and you just got to find like workarounds or like, you know, in the Marine Corps, we actually were taught improvise, adapt, overcome. That's one of our Marine Corps mottos. Yeah. And so that's what people with CP have to do is they have to improvise, adapt and overcome to in order to do things. Yes. Oh, OK. Awesome. Hmm. Um, how do you believe that your CP occurred? Uh, is con uh, CP with means that it occurred before or during both. I believe it was a herbal dose on a particular drug that affected me during my both. Was it from like doctors or medical personnel, the the drug? From what I know, Eddie. Uh-huh. A nurse was given my mom like a painkiller yeah. and they gave too much. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, does CP get worse over time, DJ? It can, but for me, I feel it has got good level. Oh, okay. Uh, can a person with CP drive a car? Yes. If, there, if it is modified to what they need, each individual may be affected differently as for as how severe the brain communicates with the muscles. Okay, so I mean, there's kind of different levels of how your muscles are affected. Some people may not be as bad as others, and things of that effect. Yes. Gotcha. Um, let me ask you this: Does CP have any additional conditions or diseases that occur with it? Yes, it can, but not always. In my case, my secondary issue, I guess you would say, is a speech impediment. But that's that's also because of the muscle control, right? Yes. Okay, yes, I got you. Uh, <laughs> DJ, what can't you do with cere cerebral palsy? Possibly, I am not able to walk as, at all except with assistance. You might occasionally, you might occasionally see my whole body drop because my legs kick out. And that, that has to do with certain kinds of muscle spasms or something like that? Yeah. It does. Okay. Um, is is cerebral palsy painful? It depends. It depends on the person's condition. For me, possibly the only pain that I experience is when I have a spastic episode. When I hit something and 
help myself on this temporary almost maybe quite some main patient to get from the to get them through the pain. I got you. Uh, okay, number 13. Does uh, CP affect intelligence? I think, let me ask you this. Would you like to answer this? <laughs> I would love to answer that, DJ. <laughs> uh, guys, just me knowing DJ and how he is, uh, and what he can do. CP, to me, that's just kind of a stupid question. And I guess it, de I guess it also depends on the severity of the cer cerebral part. Whenever, you know, they initially contract CP, whether it's a drug overdose or anything else, because me knowing DJ, as long as I have and everything, DJ is a very intelligent person. OK, DJ teaches me a lot of things when it comes to technical <laughs> stuff, <laughs> when it comes to video editing or Nightbot or StreamYard or YouTube. Uh, DJ has, you know, he has no um, intelligence issues whatsoever as far as when it comes to that. He is a very smart individual. So even though it may affect some people, it's it's like anything else. Not everybody is born with a high IQ. Not everyone's born with a low IQ. So it's an individual thing, not a CP thing. But there may be some people where the cerebral palsy affects more of their brain functions where they're not as intelligent. But that's anybody. It's not just a cerebral palsy thing, in my in my opinion. Would you agree with that, DJ? Yes, I would. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Let me ask you this. How old is the oldest living person with cerebral palsy? I know that Bond Rivers lived 83 years. She was born in the 1970s, but with medical advancement today, I believe the life expectancy of a person with CP has gone up. Well, let me tell you this. <clears throat> my dad was diabetic, and I'm diabetic and everything, and uh, my dad lived to be 66 years old, okay? He died in 2017, 2018, something like that. Mm -hmm. And I don't know that I would really live much longer than what he has or anything, but who knows? So it's not just, you know, to me, Bernadette that lived to be 83 years old may live longer than a lot of normal, average, everyday people without CP. Mm -hmm. uh, can a person, <laughs> can a person with CP talk? <laughs> Okay, let's skip that question. Can a child grow out of CP? No, CP is a permanent condition. Um, are are you mentally disabled if you have CP? No, if a person with CP is mentally disabled, it's most commonly. It's most commonly is caused by a coexistent condition. Um, DJ, what not? To, what do you not want to say uh, to someone with CP? Can I help you with that? And so up after this question. You can ask, can I help you in Amber? I used to give this as a kid. It, it kind of irritated me. What, what happened I, to you? Oh, I'm sorry. 
We'll cut that. Meaning that they asked you what happened to you is like what was wrong with you, like yeah, you know, if you got into a car accident or something. Yes, yes. Gotcha. Uh, hey DJ, what should people with CP avoid? Anything that would cause them harm. But I would say I love my greasy fast. <laughs> oh, why would you avoid your greasy fast food other than get diabetes as a coexisting condition? <laughs> uh, you don't love to talk. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> hey, can CP cause autism? No, CP cannot cause autism. And it's rare in people with special CP. However, it can be a coexisting disorder in some people with CP. Hmm. Okay, so basically, if someone's born with autism, they're born with autism. CP does not... It could be a coexisting condition. I mean, autism could be a coexisting condition of CP. But if you're going to be autistic, you're going to be autistic, whether you have CP or not. Yes. I mean, it's like saying, oh, you were born diabetes. So, you know, you're... Well, no, it's like say you're born with some other condition, but you also have diabetes at both. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, see, here's the thing, too. Like, just like CP has other coexisting conditions, a lot of times diabetics like myself, I have diabetes, but then I also have high blood pressure, high cholesterol. Because of that, you know, it causes other adverse things like strokes or heart attacks or, or whatever yeah. else. Yeah. So it's not that diabetes actually caused the other conditions or whatever, but they yeah. are, a, you know, they are existing conditions that go along with diabetes and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, what is the IQ level of a person with CP? It depends on the individual. And the reason of cause several policy in the first place, as well as possible co-existing conditions. The person could have a IQ level of my same size <laughs> or be a genius. <laughs> oh, where do you rank on that, DJ? <laughs> I like Kyle the most marine. <laughs> I knew that was I knew that was coming. I knew it was going to be like I rank higher than you, but <laughs> <laughs> Hey DJ, what is the best treatment for cerebral palsy? Physiotherapy it involves exercise to help maintain and 
hopefully improve movement. It's one of the most important treatments for CP. I see. So even though, uh, even though you can't control some of the spasms or anything else, it will help you control your movement and everything. And that brings up one of the previous questions that I asked you when I asked you if you think it's gotten worse or better over time. And you said better because you've learned to control stuff. Uh, you learned how it affects you and how you could control it better and stuff like that. Am I correct? Yes, you are correct. Have you been through physiotherapy treatment? Um, not physio, no. But I, I have been through physical and occupational therapy. Now, I'm not going to get into that because that's a whole new discussion. Okay, well, maybe we'll do that in the next video. Yeah. Okay, next question. Can someone with CP have a baby? CP does not affect fertility. And women with CP may have a high risk. May have a heightened rate of skin sensitivity for There is no clear evidence of risk for other both complications such as miscarriages, malformations, or Pregnancy in hypotension. Ah, I got it. Yeah, so basically, <laughs> the muscles, you know, the only really side effect that uh, CP uh, could have on a woman giving birth is like the muscle spasm kind of thing or, or stuff like that. And that's why they do C section sometimes. Yes, I believe. But let me just review. When we wrote this question up, it originally said, can someone, well, it was how it was, can someone with CT have a baby? We, we were joking about saying, oh, next <laughs> Men can't believe it, can <laughs> I had to add that. <laughs> All right, we got a couple questions left, DJ. The next question is, what do we call people with CP? The name, that's <laughs> obvious. Uh, <laughs> Here's a good question. This is the final question. <laughs> DJ, can CP cause anger issues? It can, but most likely not because of the CP itself, but because of because but because of Conditions such as epilepsy, intellectual disabilities, or severe pain. I got you. Yeah, uh, and that's that's not once a CP uh, cerebral palsy thing itself. That's anybody with kind of like epilepsy, intellectual disabilities, or mm -hmm. severe pain. I mean. You know, the average everyday person that suffers from one of those conditions can cause anger issues just by itself alone, correct? Yes. That's how yes. I think about it. Um, I mean, that's how I see it with you. <laughs> no, that's just because of old age and grumpiness. <laughs> <laughs> 
Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this question and answer. I hope you've learned things about cerebral palsy. Uh, DJ is releasing this in March because March is National Cerebral Palsy Awareness Month. Uh, we are going to do another um, video, and it's concerning DJ itself and his story and stuff like that. Uh, I shouldn't have said stuff like that, but. No, do you want to say that? Yeah, sure. How should I rephrase it? <laughs> well, no, let me correct where you were And you said, well, it comes from DJ itself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm fine with it like that. <laughs> uh, DJ can make an outtake clip of this. <laughs> yep, I am. <laughs> uh, no, guys, but we we do appreciate you watching this film. Share it out uh, and everything. This video, share it out and everything, and join us for the next part of this. Uh, like I said, I hope you all learned something. Uh, I know I have learned things about this by doing this collaboration with DJ. We will come out with a second video of how it affects DJ himself. <laughs> and uh, DJ, you want to finish it up? Uh... Yeah, guys. Same for what I do for your beer. Um, on your channel since I'm on video creators TV on my main channel DJ Com TV Rules. But just now when me and Eddie post this well when I post this video Feel free to ask questions and we may address them in the next part. All right, guys. So that's it for us. We're gonna go. Bye, guys. Super fast.